This pandemic has altered life as we know it, but the rough times are bringing out the best in people across the world. Martin Savage has the story. These may feel like dark days with headlines of contagion, fear, and hoarding. But human sunshine still exists. Random acts of corona kindness are everywhere. Like a front porch in Columbus, Ohio, where a young brother and sister put on a concert for a 78-year-old neighbor who had shut herself off from the virus and the world. Dressed in their best, the six and nine-year-old delighted their audience of one. In Italy, where so many have died and so many more are isolated, they sing to each other from balconies. At night, voices echo through the streets with canine accompaniment. In Spain, where they're also suffering, to say thank you to doctors and nurses battling to save lives, people step outside and applaud everywhere. In Houston, at Irma's Southwest restaurant, now ordered closed, a couple left something behind, a $9,400 tip to pay your guys over the next few weeks, the anonymous note said. This is beyond. I mean, I don't even have words for it. I, I just really don't. We have to let our staff know that we may be off to work for 15 to 30 days, depending on how long that is. But the gift we got today should help soften the blood. At a Cleveland watering hole, also closing, the customer added a little something extra to his less than $30 bill, $2,500 for the staff. When the NBA stopped the games, Cleveland Cavaliers basketball star Kevin Love started thinking about the arena staff without work. He donated $100,000 from his foundation to them, hoping others would follow his lead in their towns. They did. Teachers may not be rich like athletes, but they have a wealth of knowledge, and on Facebook, many are sharing it to answer questions and help others learn. Elsewhere, the elderly are on the minds of many. People offered a grocery shop for those who cannot or may not want to leave their homes. Stores have begun allowing older customers their own exclusive shopping hours to limit exposure to crowds. And when coronavirus concerns prevented her from going into a North Carolina nursing home to show her grandfather something, a young woman stood at his window, simply pointing to the engagement ring. The virus forcing us apart seems also to be bringing us together, closer than we've been in a long while. Martin Savage, CNN.